Let's have a look at AI Builder. We will build something useful, something you could implement to your business as of today. We will use Power Automate to build a flow to classify emails. So let's imagine this scenario. You are a company and you have a custom service mailbox. Before your staff is looking into the emails in this mailbox, we want to classify them. We're going to do a few things to put them into different buckets, and then your staff will have different priority or different team to look into the mailboxes. In this scenario, we are not diving into other automation tools that you might have already hooked up to your mailbox. This is just a demonstration of AI Builder, how we're gonna use it with the new GPT model to classify the emails. Let's say for all incoming emails, we want to divide them into three buckets. The first one is, let's call it archive, meaning the email does not require a follow-up. Second one, we call it action, meaning the customer is asking for help or follow-up and we need to do something about it. Last one I called urgent. Imagine this email, the customer is asking for something but with a bit of urgency, asking for a priority or they're simply complaining about our services or products. Now with this one, we might want to also post a team's notification to our channel so the members of the team can get notified in real time. Now this scenario can be easily extended in the real world business. Most company will have a mailbox that interact with the customers. And I think you should have some kind of mechanism like this to monitor it. You probably want to know what's trending on social media, that's hashtag your product. Or imagine in the future, we can monitor the YouTube video. If somebody posted a video review of your product as being negative, you prob probably want to know in the first place. So as these APIs and connector become available within the Power Automate, and we can really use the GPT capability to build a good prompt to classify these emails. All right, enough said, let's get started. We are going to use the AI Builder. As you can see here, there's a lot of models already available, pre-made. Some of you might have one listed in the preview or gated preview, so you might have more models here. So to get it started, we want to create a new flow. So let's go with a instant cloud flow, and then let's call it email classification. We will start a manual trigger just to test out the AI builder with the GPT model and the prompt. Then later on, we need to change that to an email trigger. So here. We will add manual input. And the next step, we want to use the AI Builder. There are many pre-built models already. As you can see, there's a classification here already. There's extractions. Basically, these are pre-built. Pre and you have to read the Microsoft documentation on how this works. Of course, we're not going to do that. We're going to use the raw GPT model. So select the first one. Okay. So basically, as you can see, this is using OpenAI. But because it's part of AI Builder, you do need to stand up your own Azure OpenAI models. Meaning you won't get built for that either. Just You're just doing this within your Power Platform and using the AI Builder. Of course, I believe AI Builder might be a separate license. 
and um, you don't get access automatically. Anyway, so here you're very familiar with this. We're just gonna put a prompt here. For example, classify the email message into three categories. And that's the three categories we talked about. Can't spell. And you go create prompt. Let's go start from blank. Okay, basically you put your prompt here and can test it out. So just to show you how the prompt works, we can do, hey, can you, okay, actually we can say that. Your job is to classify, classify email into three categories, archive, action and urgent. So let's just stand up a very simple example. Archive means no follow-up required. Action means the customer is asking for help. Urgent means customer is complaining and that's really really simple okay beginning of the email end of the email so let's just put a real simple message here say hey that's customer service i had so many problems with your product. It never works. Let's go test it out. See what we get. Okay, it says urgent because it sounds like customers complaining. So we will label all these emails with urgent action or archive. And we can use them in the flow as a condition. Then we can drive these different emails into different chains to follow up with different actions. Now, as you can see, this is a very simple prompt, but I'm not gonna make a whole video about it if we just end up like that. I'm gonna show you how to do it properly because as you know, the future of programming is prompt engineering. So I'm going to show you in the chat GPT how we can build the prompt properly with a few shots, meaning we're going to provide some examples to make sure this prompt works always as we want it to, to be 100%, 100%, maybe as, as accurate as possible. Okay, let's try that out. Prompt engineering is the art of communication. The communication between human and AI, obviously. Now, some of you might have seen there's lots of prompt examples on the internet, on the YouTube, they are quite complex. The fact is, the more specific you can be, the better for the prompt, because AI can do many, many things. And when it needs to be performed certain tasks. You want AI to limit its scope, ability, and just to do what you want it to do. So here I write, can you build a text prompt for a GPT model? And yeah, we are a good services company that we have a custom service in Mailbox. The model's job is to classify incoming email into three categories, archive, actions, and urgent. Archive means email require follow up. Action means blah blah blah. Urgent means detecting the tone. The customer is asking for help with matter of urgency or just simply complaining. Let's add one more thing. Oh, I hit enter. So let's see what it says. Here, the text prompt. 
Okay, so you are a custom service representative for goods and companies. Your task is to classify incoming emails into the three category. Blah, 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 blah. The classification should be based on the content and tone of the email. Here are definition. Go. Your goal is to train GPT model to accurately classify incoming email into these three categories. Use a labeled data set consisting of emails and their response. In them. The model should be able to generalize. Okay, so we don't need that. That's not part of the prompt. We're going to use this bit. And let's copy that into our prompt. So here I've pasted the prompt into this playground. Now I'm just going to add a bit more here. For example, um, I'm going to add Please only label the email with archive actions or urgent with no other words, no explanation required. Because sometimes the model will give you explanation why he labeled that way. And that is not going to work for our scenario because we're going to use these three words in the conditions. Okay. Now here are definition of blah, blah, blah. Okay. This one looks good. Now we're just going to do a few short example, meaning we're going to provide some sample emails here for the model to train. So let's switch back to our chat GPT to compete, to continue build this here I said, write for sample email that I will use for the prompt as a few short learning, classify each email. The first one I want to sample email is an email that requires no follow-up. Just a good review, how's that? Number two, an email Asking for help. Number three, an email asking for help with a matter of urgency and the priority. Last one, an email that the customer is not happy with us and complaining. So let's see what ChatGPT will build for us. So here we come, the first sample email. Hi there, I want to reach out to let you know how satisfied I am. Okay, great, custom name. Email two. Need assistance for the product troubleshooting. Okay, email three. Is affecting my business. And um, last one is also disappointed about service. Okay. So they are also being classified. So let's change the format a little bit and um, copy all these to our prompt. You will be surprised how much you can build into the prompt. Okay, as you can see, I have pasted these few short examples into the prompt. Okay. And now in the end, I've added this bit myself. I said above is the instructions and examples. Below is a real income email you need to classify. And here I paste the beginning of the email and end of the email. Okay, so. I have asked ChatGPT to create me another sample email, which I'm going to paste here. So we're going to test it out. So let's hit test and see what it gives to us. Now, remember, we only expect three words. OK, it got archive, it got right, but we don't want the answer. So we need to get rid of this answer. Now, remember on the top of here, we said only 
You please only label email with uh, no with no other words, but it still did. Uh, to work out why, maybe because of here answer. Maybe we just add it here, just to emphasize it. Please only classify with archive action or urgent with no other words. And let's try it again. Here we go. Now let's try with another email. So we'll delete this bit. Pasting our second email. which I won't show you on the screen because I'm now just going to chat GPT. Here we go. Pasting back here. And then go test it out. So I recently purchased one of your products. I have a few questions, so this is the action. And the last one I want to show you is actually a complaint. So go back to chat GPT to copy the message. So this one, I expect will be classified as urgent. Okay, I'm writing to you, see the title, packing or deliver as promised. So it sounds like a very angry customer. Urgent. Okay, that's all we need to do with the prompt, building a prompt using ChatGPT. So let's delete this email body here. And we will click use this prompt in the flow. Let's hit this. And what we're going to do next is to replace the trigger and use dynamic content to feed the email into the body of the prompt. Now, before we build out the flow, let me show you our plan, how we design this flow. So in this mailbox, you can see this is the email we're gonna be monitoring. And I created two folder here, one called archived, which will move the files, the emails into the here. And there's another folder called actions. We will move the accordingly, move the other emails to this folder. In the Teams, we've built out a channel called custom service now for urgent emails we wanted to be throwing a notification here so our team can just jump onto it straight away. Okay, so this is our little plan. Now let's go back to our Power Automate to start building out the flow. First, let's delete this trigger. And we will add a new trigger to monitor the mailbox. So you search Outlook. When the new email arrives, Click on that. Open advanced options. We're going to monitor the inbox. And the mailbox we're going to monitor is this one. That's it. That's the first step. That's a trigger. Next, we're going to feed this email into our prompt. So coming down here where it says beginning of the email, you're going to Click here, then you're going to scroll all the way up because the screen is too long. Select dynamic content. Pick when the email arrives. And we want the body of the email. Okay, so we want the body of the email. Now be added to our prompt. Next, we're going to add a step for the actions. So what's the action we want? We want it to do, go to a different chain of actions, mailbox or the team's channel. But before we can use that label, you need to initialize a variable because the output of this GPT action from AI Builder is not a string. And we cannot use it. So let's just call this label. We'll make sure it's a string. 
and the value will be the output from last step, which is the GPT. Here you go, the generated text. And let's go save. Next, let's do our conditions. So you want to switch under the control, go a condition. No, actually, we want to control under the switch. And what are we evaluating on is the output of last one, which is this label. When the label equals to urgent, we want to do something about it. When it is action, we want to do something about it. And when we want to, the last one is archive. Okay, and make sure we got it right. What are we labeling as? Archive, action, and urgent. Fantastic. So with urgent, first we want to throw a Teams message to our channel. So let's go to Teams. Uh, looking for post a chat. Post a chat. Post a message in a chat or channel. We're going to pick the channel we created earlier. So go to channel. You want to pick your Teams. I think it's under here. And it is called custom service. You can do a message, whatever you want. I'm just going to make it very simple. So attention, please, with the dynamic content. So we want to maybe give a subject of the email and maybe a little bit preview of the email. So let's do a body preview. That's it for urgent. As in for the action, we just want to move the email to a folder that we created called actions. So let's go to our look and found the move folder actions. So we will see. Where's the move? Move emails. All right, so the message ID, we're gonna pick up from dynamic content from the very first step. When the email arrives, there is a message ID here, right there. Folder, we're gonna to move to the one we just created under inbox, we're gonna call the action one. And the original email address, that's the, so can we pick it up from and the content? Address of the share mailbox to move the email from. Let's just do this. This is the one. Now it reminds me in the Urgent, we also want to move to the urgent folder. So let's find that. If our look, we find the move. Move email. We'll find the message ID. And then we'll move to the urgent folder. Here we go. And it's the same email. Actually, this doesn't mean that. This might mean the email, the message we're coming from. Let's just delete that. Leave that apart. 
but we do the same for the archive so archive we're not going to do much we're just going to move it to the archive folder i'll move again find the message id and find the folder now let's test it I'm going to email a couple of them to this mailbox that we are monitoring so I'm just going to do it offline and then we'll come back to see whether those emails are received now very importantly here you can see um, from the Microsoft they recommend that this action if we use any actions it does not have content pool actions after so it's asking you not necessarily but a warning that you should have a approval step if you use any of these ai related step actions and this is still early days and uh, we all know ai make mistakes you should never make decisions solely relying on the ai okay so this is what it's about now for our tutorial and test test sake we can ignore that and then just try it out so you see I have asked ChatGPT to generate three more simple emails one is to provide a good review second one is asking for help and the third one to complain about an issue right, I'm gonna use my another email address to send these three emails to the mailbox we've been monitoring and let it trigger the flow okay I have just finished sending three emails from my another mailbox to this one we've been monitoring so it should trigger the power automate flow three times so let's refresh that you can see one two three and if you want to go into it there should be triggered three different actions if the GPT has classified it correctly so this one has triggered case three, which is the archive. That's the review email. You go to the second one, it should trigger one of the other two. Um, one, two, default. Oh, wait, it says action in case matches no rule expression result is actions let's check the first one the latest one the last one should be a complaint email so what did this one trigger so this one got through as urgent actually this is correct right? this is urgent the second one should be the action because they're asking for help. That's the action. I don't know why here it didn't display correctly because this is the actions. Actions with an S. Right. So that is what has gone wrong. The first one is correct. First one was K3, okay. So we need to modify our flow and resend the second email because I missed the S. So let's edit our switch. So that is the one I was talking about that not having the human approval that is action S. Okay, my bad. The good news is the GPT model has been classified correctly. So let's send the second email again, which is the action one. So you won't see my screen now. I'm just really quickly send this email by copying it. Okay, I resent it. 
the second email which is asking for help. So if we refresh here, should be another trigger just happened. If we go in there, now we corrected actions with the S. It has triggered correctly. Urgent. Oh, it has classified as urgent. Interesting. Now, if we go back to our mailbox, so in archive, you can see that the email we've moved, that the actions that we have moved, and it's urgent. Right, that actually is correct. So we got one urgent issues, one archive issue, and the action that has been classified wrong. And if we come to the Teams, you should have thrown, here you go, this is a new one, attention please. Okay, so this is an urgent one that's throwing out notifications to the Teams channel, so your Teams can be, can stay on top of it. So here you go, this is how we use the GPT within the AI Builder in the flow to classify incoming emails. As you can see, this is still early days. It, the AI might not be always correct. That's why the Microsoft has recommended you should have a human approval step in the flow. But things are changing really quickly and we believe it's gonna get better and better. And this use case for email classification can be easily expanded to other use cases, such as monitor your social media feed or just go through thousands of server results and only respond to the one that you need to, a negative one or something, whatever you define with the model. Hope you enjoyed this short, not so short video, and I'll see you next time.